Hey everybody, this is Jack from Tefluency.com and let's go for a hike. Before I go, it looks like a bear got our trash can last night. It happens quite a lot around here and we forgot to put the, the trash can inside so I'm going to have to clean that up later. Okay, so here we are on my new favourite trail. Now, I want to talk about the difference between to take a hike or go for a hike and also go for a walk. So what we are doing now we are taking a hike, okay? So this is basically when we are out in nature, when there is a trail, usually in the mountains um, or in the countryside. And then to go for a walk, it kind of suggests that it's not a trail, but it might be around the city, around the neighborhood. So I can say I'm taking the dogs on a hike, but if we take them around the neighborhood on the streets, then, I'll say I'm taking them for a walk. I must be the first one on the trail today because, whoa, there's this pretty big spider, which I don't think you can see, but it's built this amazing web right here. And I was just about to walk straight into it, but I noticed that there was this fairly big spider right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duck under it, continue the trail. How low can you go? How low? Nope. I'm just going to do it this way. This is a really quiet trail. It, it's in the neighborhood and not a lot of people know about it who live outside the neighborhood. But it's really cool because it goes, it's about a mile, and it goes to the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is a very well-known road that goes through the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's very popular with tourists. So this goes all the way up to the Blue Ridge Parkway, and then you can cross the parkway, which we won't be doing today, and then get on another trail. I, I love this because it's so close to our house, it's quiet, and the dogs love it, and also my son loves it too. So I try to come here about three, four times a week, especially when the dogs haven't been out for a while, and they need some exercise, and I need some exercise too. I haven't come very well prepared today because it's just a quick hike. It should be about half an hour, 40 minutes total. But if I'm going on a longer hike, there are certain things that I take with me, including a backpack to carry my things, some treats for the dogs, some water for the dogs, some water for me, and some snacks too. The difficulty is when you take kids on a longer hike, because usually you end up carrying them for a certain part of the trail. Now, the first time we did this hike, my son was so excited about it. I think we, we were gone for about an hour and a half, but then every time he goes a little bit less up the mountain. And um, I think it's because he's probably used to it now and he knows what it's like, but I'm trying to teach him to keep going, to continue walking even though you're tired. I think there's a lesson for learning English there too. We're getting close to the road now. So um, we're gonna head back. Wow, Toby, let's go. So this is the way we're going down and you can see the switchbacks. It goes like that, and then like that, and then like that, until you get to the bottom. So it's quite a steep climb, but you don't really realize until you're going down. I'm trying to remember where that spider web was. I imagine that I'm gonna pay attention to it and then forget about it. And then all of a sudden, 
big spider web. Well, there's one right here. Check this out. What a great hike. Um, I'm back in the car now. And what I want to say is, if you want to learn the words and phrases that I used in this video, then check out the description and also my website. I'll leave a link somewhere on the screen so you can go check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.